Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to set up HTTP Custom for your Siphon server. If you haven't watched my previous video on creating a Siphon server, make sure to check it out first. But don't worry, I'll give you a quick recap. Step 1. In the previous video, we learned how to create a Siphon server by visiting the 7R1 website. We selected our desired server location and copied the necessary account details. Make sure you have those details ready, as we'll be using them in this video. Step 2. Now let's move on to setting up HTTP Custom for your Siphon server. The first step is to download the app from the Play Store if you haven't already. Once you've launched the app, you'll see the home screen. Step 2. On the home screen, make sure to check the boxes for Siphon and Payload, along with any other settings as shown. This will enable us to access the Siphon settings. Step 3. Next, click on the plugin icon to access the Siphon settings. From the menu that appears, select Siphon settings. Step 4. In the Siphon settings, you'll find different options such as protocols, region, authorization, and server. However, I'm sorry to say that I'll have to skip this step due to YouTube's policy. But don't worry, I'll explain why at the end of the video. Step 5. Now let's move on to the next step. Click on the hamburger icon in the top left corner to access the utility section. From there, click on Payload. Step 6. Here's where it gets a bit tricky. Unfortunately, I can't share the specific payload and siphon settings in this video due to YouTube's policy. But don't worry, I have a solution for you. In the video description below, you'll find a link to my blog where you can find the complete tutorial with all the necessary details. Simply click the link, and you'll be able to set up the payload and configure the siphon settings as needed. Step 7. Once you've set up the payload and siphon settings, go back to the app's home screen. Now, click on the Connect button to start your VPN connection. That's it! You've successfully set up HTTP Custom for your Siphon server. Before we end this video, you may be wondering why I couldn't share the specific payload and Siphon settings here. Unfortunately, YouTube's policies restrict the sharing of certain content. But don't worry, you can find all the information you need in the blog post linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching.